In this screencast, we're going to show how to use Dropbox to transfer your video files directly into a shared folder. So first we're going to open Dropbox by clicking on it in the lower left. Dropbox opens and you're going to click Start in the top right corner. And you will already have a Dropbox account because we will have set it up for you. So you are already a Dropbox user. Click on that. Enter in your uh, Gannett email and the password that we supply you. And hit log into Dropbox. Now it's going to bring up a screen that says camera upload. You want to cancel this. You do not want to automatically save all your photos to Dropbox. You're going to hit cancel in the upper left hand corner. And Dropbox will load what's in your Dropbox folder currently, which is just a getting started PDF, the photos folder, and the TNG reporter video folder that we set up for you. As you might have guessed, you're going to be sharing the video you shoot on your iPhone into the TNG Reporter video folder. So we're going to go in the bottom menu and click on Uploads. And you're going to go in the top left corner and click on the plus sign. And once that comes up, you're going to click on Choose an Upload Destination. You want to change that from Dropbox to TNG Reporter Video. So select that and click Choose in the bottom right corner. Now you simply go into your camera roll and you find the video file you're looking for. So I'm going to scroll up. I think I have a video of Andre in here somewhere. Oh, Mud Run UD. Here it is. So you can also select more than one video or photo file if you want to. But in this case, I'm just going to select the one video and click on Upload in the top right corner. Now it's going to prepare to upload and then it's going to begin transferring to the shared Dropbox folder. Now the reason we're using Dropbox instead of simply emailing it in like we have been or using something like Google Drive is that those other two options compress the video before sending it. It does mean that you can send files faster, but then by the time we get it on the video end, what was once a 100 megabyte file has been compressed down to 4 or 5 megabytes. So by using Dropbox we maintain our full HD quality when we put the video up on the web. So we're going to just uh, fast forward here a bit. And it's important to remember this option is really only useful when you have a Wi-Fi connection. So this is sort of targeted at the sports reporters who are in the press box, have a Wi-Fi connection, or the downstate reporter who is going back home to file and has a Wi-Fi in their home. The easiest thing to do is just to bring your phone back to us. We'll hook it up to the cable and we'll pull the files off. But if you're out of the office and you have Wi-Fi, this is the next best thing. So there you go, the file is done transferring. As you can see, if I go into the Dropbox tab and then open up the TNJ Reporter video folder, this video file is now in there. And on our end, we'll get a little alert that pops up that says that a new file has been synced to a specific folder. And we can then go in, pull off your video, it'll clear it out of your Dropbox account and keep your Dropbox space open. And we'll edit it and put it up. That's it.